A funny story from a wedding, maybe. Okay, great story from a wedding. I was photographing, at the time, probably the biggest budget wedding I've ever photographed. Started the day off real how, well. How would you? How much would you expect? Like, I think total total budget on the wedding probably was <clears throat> probably was like 150 thousand. Mm-hmm. It was actually in the Berkshires. It was down the street, hmm. um, but it was it was clearly an extravagant wedding. Um, and started the day off well. I like rolled in. Literally, someone was like, "Oh, do you always dress that casually for a wedding?" And I was <gasps> like, mm, "Good start to the day." <laughs> I was like wearing a chambray shirt and like I was I was like wearing like what photographers wear. But I was like, ooh, that's rough. So I was already like feeling a little under the microscope. Then we were under this tent. I nailed it, by the way. Like photographs were awesome. And the client was very happy at the end of the day. But this moment was funny. The dad was giving a toast in this tent. And um, he had a, a stemless wine glass that he had in his hand. And as he was toasting, it was like hard to shuffle the papers and hold the wine glass. So he put the wine glass down at his feet. And then he keeps toasting and he kind of moves around or whatever. And I'm, I'm very actively following him and he, it's clear that this is a significant toast for his daughter. They have a, a layered relationship and he's getting into that a little bit. And it's like very emotional, very meaningful. And I like the poorly dressed photographer boy. <laughs> I'm like working my way around the room and I have the camera up to my face. So I'm not really paying attention to where I am. And I sidestep and I kick hard <laughs> the wine glass. And it's, it's a stemless wine glass, so it perfectly makes a circle <laughs> pouring red wine around the entire... And it makes like a ting-ting, like it was like a, this like super emotional part of the speech. And I, the worst part about it is I ran after it, and it was rolling in a perfect circle, and I couldn't catch up. So I just was like running behind this wine glass for like the whole circumference of this huge dance floor. And I'm like waddling with my hold fast. I have like two cameras dangling. I like my, I'm coming untucked. And then like the dad looks at me and I like look so sheepishly up at him. There's red wine around the whole dance floor. And I was just like, continue your speech, like, or whatever. And I don't know. Carl was with me. And Carl just like was looking from across the room. It was just like, oh, buddy, oh, buddy. That's, I think, like up there with my worst oh like my wedding. Gosh. Yeah. It was, I mean, and it was like the worst because like it was begging for everyone to just laugh and make it okay. And no one did. Oh my I was just like, that is crushing. I was like, I felt naked. I was just like covered in red wine and naked in front of all these rich people. And I was like, you're going to love these photos. I undercharged you. <laughs> so there's a funny story. That was so worth the ask. Wow. I've never heard that story. I haven't That's heard that so one either. Really? That's like one of my favorites. That's so good. Real good, man. It was brutal. With the cameras dangling on either side, too, that just adds to the... like. I oh, want to no, say oh, Carl no. tried to take a picture of it. <laughs> it was a long enough moment that he could have like been like, oh, the I have an opportunity. Room, the like, just stopped I the speech. To. I don't know how I couldn't catch the thing. <laughs> like I was, It was probably rolling at like half a mile an hour. And I was just like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, it was brutal. 